Hey guys, welcome to my 100 subscriber special. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for getting me to 100 subscribers. I thought I'd mention real quickly that um, this is a huge lot of 26 iPhones. And, you know, when something was charging or restoring or whatnot, I would go to another iPhone. So you have to pay really close attention to keep track of what iPhone is what. And there's also some, like, 4 and 4S's um, where I couldn't tell the difference between them at first. But if you pay close attention, I eventually do realize which ones are 4's and which ones are 4S's. And I do mention that in the video. So anyways, with that in mind, let's start the video. Hey guys, what's going on? So today, we got a huge lot of Apple devices for $60 in free shipping. Let's take a look. Just a piece of glass from this iPhone right here. Oh, here's the two 5S's. All right. Oh, wait, got an iPod Nano. So as you can see here, this is the entire lot. We have two 5S's, two 5C's, a 5, a bunch of 4 and 4S's, Bunch of 3Gs and 3GSs. This one is completely expanded. The battery and the screen's popping off. And we have a Touch 5, two Touch 4s, a Touch 2, two iPod Nano second generations, and a Shuffle second generation. All for $60. So let's see what works. Okay, so I have a bunch plugged in here. I'm gonna turn these on. So the seller, the way they worded it, they were saying, you know, it could have a bunch of issues. So it kind of sounded like they may not have tested these, so got these that we'll plug in later, but for now, just plug these in. Oh, look, this one's already turning on, so is that one. We got power from a bunch of these, look at that. So I'll be back. Oh, yeah, this one's in recovery mode. A bunch of these are showing power, this is promising. Oh, this one is pre-iOS 7, iPhone 4S. Yeah, so I'll be back. So this 5C wasn't showing any power, but the charge port was so dirty, and it still is. But now when I cleaned it out a little bit, it is charging. So that's awesome. So this is an insane deal. I've realized so much of this works more than I thought. So these two are looping. This one has the common battery loop to Apple logo. So this might just need a new battery. I'm not sure. The Touch 5 shows no power at all. This 5S does not show any power. This... I believe is the one that goes right into recovery mode. Yes. This is, I believe, a four, it's a 4 or 4S, I'm not sure, but it's passcode locked. And this is a passcode locked iPhone 4 or 4S, I don't know. But no iCloud since it's iOS 6. Um, and then these, this one, this one are still charging. Oh, this one's turning on right now. Then check this out. Both of these iPods, they have, the home buttons don't feel exactly normal and, you know, cracks and dead, but they both work fine. This 5S was on the setup screen, believe it or not, set up with no iCloud account on 10.2.1, 16 gigabytes. I was shocked. This is a 12, uh, no, sorry, an 8.4 iPhone 5C, 16 gigabytes, I believe. Wait, hold on, let me check that. Yeah, it's 16 gigabytes. And it set up with no iCloud. It's also on the setup screen. This is an iPhone 4 or 4S. I haven't really checked. I believe this one, yeah, this is the 7.0.6 one. It seems to work fine. I haven't fully tested these, but they seem to. These are both CDMA 8GB Verizon iPhone 4s on 7.1.2, but they both seem to work totally fine, which is shocking. Remember, I got all this for $60. That's it. Um, so, yeah. And then I still have to test all the 3Gs and the other iPods. 
So, oh, and this one, iPhone 4S turned on and it has a passcode lock on it. Just turned on now. So yeah, the Green 5C just booted and it's fully working on 9.2.1 with an iCloud account on it. So the ones with issues, these are the ones that have passcodes. That one has an iCloud but not a lock passcode. The rest have lock passcodes. This is the recovery mode one. These are both boot looping and then these both show no power at all. Let's plug in the other devices. So then. both the Nanos booted up fine. Um, this one works totally fine. This one seems to have a bad backlight. I haven't tested everything, but they both power on, so that's good. I'll have to get a charger for this later upstairs. And then all the three GSs are either the batteries still are charging or they're boot looping. And then this is a touch second gen, eight gigabytes. It's very scratched and cracked and the LCD is yellowing and the speaker sounds a little weird, but it seems to work otherwise. And then of course this one, I mean, <laughs> it's gonna need some work before I dare test it. So I'm turning my computer on right now to try to restore this recovery mode CDMA iPhone 4, which also appears to have a faulty screen, which there's a low chance that that actually could be why this is like that. Who knows, but we're just gonna try to restore it and see what happens. Okay, so the computer detected the phone and we are trying to restore it now. We'll be back after this attempts to restore. So the 32 gigabyte iPhone 3GS boots with a uh, passcode on setup screen. Can just restore that, no big deal. Many of the other 3GSs, pretty much all the other 3GSs do have issues. This one has a broken LCD it appears. Also with these Nanos, the one with the broken backlight actually doesn't have a broken backlight. I was just wrong. One of them does not, is this one, doesn't hold a charge at all. This one seems to work just fine. So yeah. So this 3GS just booted with a passcode and the power button doesn't work. I thought this one was dead, but nope. So it did not restore. As I suspected, it probably has a bad baseband um, since it jumped right back into recovery. That's fine though. So I'm restoring the 32 gigabyte iPhone 3GS. Since it said it was on iOS 6 on that lock screen, I'm not gonna bother to try to save blobs. Like if it's on 6.1.5, it's not a big deal. Like I'll just restore it. So I plugged the iPod Shuffle second generation into my charging dock. And as you can see, the orange light is on, which indicates that it's charging. The boot looping iPhone 4 that never booted before seemed, or 4S, I'm not sure, finally did boot this time and it has a passcode on it, um, I believe. Yep, the battery's completely dead, it is swollen, so this will have to need a new battery and try to get the iCloud removed from it. So yeah. So although not fully tested, the 32 gigabyte 3GS seems to be working just fine after a restore. So I tested this iPod Shuffle with some earbuds and there was music already on it. And this thing works totally fine, all the buttons work and it seems to hold a charge, at least for a little bit. I don't know exactly how long because I haven't tested it. So an update on the uh, bad battery Nano. I unplugged it and look, it seems to be showing the Apple logo and then it just goes out. So I don't know if a restore will fix this or if it just needs to be plugged in for a while, but this thing might not be totally gone. The battery might still be okay. It could have just been messed up from sitting in storage so, so what's going on here is I was hoping to put my own SIM card in these so they could get notifications and then I could see numbers that are texting them and hopefully get in contact since there's no way to get into the phone with the passcode. Um, but this phone is Verizon, um, which is unlocked for any carrier. But the problem is when I put my SIM card in, it asks, asks for activation and I need to enter the code anyways. And then this one is stuck on searching. This one is too sometimes, but I can get it to work occasionally. This one is just stuck on searching and it's a common issue. The only way to fix is restoring, but if it's iCloud locked, so I'm restoring this 4S on iOS 7 to iOS 9, unfortunately. I'm not going to bother with guessing the code. You know, I tried the very, very basics, but it's unlikely I'll actually be able to guess it. So I'll be restoring these both. So unfortunately, as you can see, after we restored it, it does have an activation lock on it. I might bypass this or just use it for parts. I'm not sure yet. So we're now restoring the other 4S and seeing if this one is locked or not. Sadly, this phone also has an iCloud account still attached to it. 
So they can be used for parts, I guess. So an update on the 5C. I'm pretty much doing this video and fixing things as I go. Still just kind of updating and switching to other things. But yeah, so I worked on this 5C and I did get the owner's phone number and I contacted them and they said they'd be happy to help remove it. So I told them how to remove this from their iCloud account and I'm waiting to hear back from them. This is on 9.2.1 so it'd be really cool if I could get this iCloud free and restore it. Okay, so here's the 4S on iOS, I believe 6, which has a passcode on it and it won't hold a charge and it constantly is rebooting and the battery is expanding as you can see. You can see the glass is all lifting up. That might have been why it cracked in the first place, who knows. But yeah, so we're going to swap the battery out real quick. So I replaced the battery. I don't even know if this battery works, to be honest. Um, but you see this is the old battery, swollen. So I'm going to plug this in and see if the battery works. So for this No Power 5S, I checked the IMEI number. It is a 16 gigabyte iCloud free. And I believe it also said that the ESN is good. iPhone 5S. So if I can get this to work, there's no account on it, which is super awesome. So while I'm waiting for the 4S to charge, I might as well switch out the battery on this iPhone 4. This is the one with the expanded battery that only turned on once, it usually boot loops and it has a passcode on it on iOS 7. I don't know what happened here but you can see that the battery is leaking and there's also like hair in it which is kind of disgusting so yeah. So there's a bunch of bad batteries mixed in with my lot of iPhone 4 batteries, so I honestly don't know if the one I put in works or not, but we will see if it'll charge up here. So our 4S has turned on, it holds a charge now, and we just need to restore this thing. So the 4S I'm restoring to 6.1.3 right now, and the iPhone 4 I'm still waiting to charge, but in the meantime I restored the 3GS with the broken power button. The home button doesn't work perfectly either, but other than that, it seems fine. It also actually does seem to be stuck on searching though. But I was able to activate it with a SIM card, so I don't know if that just happened now or what. But yeah, it does seem to work overall. Just need some minor repairs. So the iPhone 4S is restored to 6.1.3. It's a 16GB model and it seems to work fine. The screen is rather scratched and of course the back is cracked, so I'll probably use this iCloud locked one for the screen and back on this one eventually. But for now, I can go on my working pile. So the iPhone 4 booted and we can see it's on 7.0 point something. Um, and it does have a passcode. So we'll have to figure out if we can bypass this or not. So I think there's a way I can bypass the passcode on this, but I don't know exactly how, so I'm asking people right now. But we'll come back to this later. It also, the control center is accessible, which it isn't always the case. Um, so I might be able to glitch that to get the contacts, but we'll see. I think it's possible, so we'll get back to this later. So here's the iPhone 5S that wouldn't show us any power. So while we're waiting to see if we can bypass the iPhone 4 passcode, we're going to be taking this apart and seeing what's wrong with it and why it won't turn on. I tried connecting it to iTunes, recovery mode, everything, but no signs of life. So it needed a new battery, and it booted. The OCD is shattered, and I don't know if this was from when I was prying up, because when I pried it up, it was really weird, like, it, this side would not pry up, it was stuck in really good for some reason. So the, I, that LCD damage could be to me. Um, it does have a passcode on it, unfortunately, which really sucks, because, you know, it's fine, my iPhone free, but it has a passcode. Which stinks because it's on an older version of iOS, as you can see from the slide to unlock. Um, but yeah, once I get a different display on this, we can test it further. So for the time being, I just threw in 
a aftermarket battery and a testing screen, which uh, does seem to have some lines at the top, but I don't know if that's the board or not. It also seems to have searching, but I'm just going to use this to diagnose it further. And yeah, so we're going to try guessing the password. Maybe it has a race after 10 attempts on. So we'll just have to see. So after a lot of charging, this iPhone 3G eventually turned on. I thought it was dead. Um, and the battery holds a charge. It's on 4.1. The home button does not work though. But yeah. Other than that, it's fine. Also, this boot looping 3GS did turn on at one point um, and then turned right back off, but it was on the iOS 4 um, setup screen and it instantly dies. So I think it just needs a new battery, to be honest. So to my surprise, this iPhone, which was in recovery mode, which I thought had a bad baseband, I tried the restore again. It turns out it just didn't go through the first time because it went through this time and it's fully working with no locks on it, which is awesome. The front screen on this one and the back glass are both aftermarket, so that's kind of unfortunate, but the phone does work totally fine. It's a CDMA Verizon, I think, and it is 8 gigabytes, I believe. No, this one is actually 16 gigabytes Verizon, so yeah, pretty cool. So back to the 9.2.15C with an iCloud account. Um, I was contacting the owners, like I said earlier, and he said once he's done his vacation that he's going to try the steps I gave him to remove this from his iCloud. So it's very, very likely that this iCloud will be gone within like a week. So now it's time to look at what I got for $60. First thing here is 16 gigabyte 5S on 10.2.1, which just needs a new screen. This needs a new screen and battery. I just have a testing screen battery in it right now. 16 gigabytes, also needs a SIM tray, fully working, no iCloud. iOS 8.45C, just needs a new screen. Okay, I'm done doing these in order because I don't know the exact order now. This is a CDMA iPhone 4, 8 gigs I believe. This is same thing. 16 gigabyte 4S with a scratch screen. It also, I noticed, has some water in it. Needs a new back. This is iPhone 4, 8 gigs CDMA with a aftermarket screen and back, but it's fully working though. Fully working 32 gigabyte iPhone 3GS. Um, 16 gigabyte 3GS with a, um, the home button doesn't always work and the power button doesn't work at all, but it's fine otherwise. 8 gigabyte touch 4, fully working, just needs a new screen. Another 8 gigabyte touch 4, which also just needs a new screen. Both of these do have frame dents as well, but they seem to be fully working. I haven't tested everything, like, they could have little things like broken cameras, so keep that in mind with this stuff. This is a GSM iPhone 4. I believe it's the, um, this is manufactured 2013. Um, and it's running 7.0.6 and it's fully working besides a cracked screen from what I can see. This is a touch second generation. It is fully working except that the screen is cracked and the LCD is stained and the speaker doesn't work perfectly, but it can be fun just, you know, to mess around with. And then we have an iPhone 3G, which the battery dies really quick in. It's running 4.1, and it seems to work except the home button, which actually worked that time for some reason, and now it died. But yeah, new battery, new home button, should be fine. Shuffle second generation, fully working. Two nano second generations, one's four gigabyte, one's two gigabytes. They don't seem to hold a charge long. But it might be because I haven't left them plugged in for long. They're probably sitting for a while. Um, so that's pretty much everything that works. Now let's go over just broken stuff. So we have the boot looping iPhone 5, which I did get to the lock screen once. 
has a passcode and I checked it has iCloud. It's 32 gigabytes. No power touch five. Cracked, scratched. Um, this is a uh, CDMA iPhone 4 with cracked front and back and it has a passcode. Keep in mind, some of this stuff I did fix. It's not like I got this like that, but you'll, you've already seen that in the video. So if you were paying attention. Um, and there's also this, which is a green 5C. The screen does not work everywhere. It's running 9.2.1. There, okay. So yeah, the screen does need to be replaced. Um, the I have contact with the previous owner and they're trying to get the iCloud removed. And this is a 3GS with the um, iOS 4 setup screen and it has a bad battery. So it won't hold a charge, but it works otherwise. I don't know the gigabytes or anything. Also got this 3G, which is expanded. I don't know if the board works. I had one that was bent from this and still worked, so it could work. Although I can see that the metal framing is popping out here, so I find this unlikely to work. But the screen on it looks like it might be okay. Oh okay, yeah, here's the iOS 4 setup screen, by the way. Then we have this guy, which is a 3G with a cracked screen and a bad LCD. And I was gonna say bad battery, but um, it just turned on without a charger. That never happened before. This is 16 gigabytes. I guess the battery's good. Didn't know. And then these, finally, the last two devices, which are both iPhone 4S's. This is eight gigs. I don't know the gigabytes on this, but they're both iCloud locked. I could bypass them for fun or use them for parts. I'll probably use one of them on that 4S I got. Um, they're all in, they're both in really good condition, except that this one has a tiny crack on the back. But yeah, so that is what I got for $60, which is a very, very good deal. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my 100 subscriber video. So I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for making this possible. Um, all of you guys are amazing. I did not think when I started this I would get many subscribers. I didn't think there was as many people that were as passionate about fixing stuff as I am. So I'm really thankful for all of you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. Anyways, peace out.